Sam, you sure you want to keep going? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I'm fine. You're sure? You can rest in the car while I ask around. I'll manage. Don't worry about me. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Ow! Watch it! The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? Kayla? You know Ethan? Yeah, I knew him. You're his sister, right? I was. So, are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dickie. I don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud. Goes off-road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. He could still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. She definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not going to help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it as long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. 
All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here. And even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? What kind of donations? Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of others. Even if their kindness comes and goes in waves. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. <laughs> Clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dickie. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. A guy who wants everyone to know he's ready for a fight. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. So Dickie is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's got... Tyler set himself up nicely. Now that's a man that wants to be left alone. Sup? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR, I'm... Way, you're that fucking reporter. I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face. Just here to ask a couple of questions. Do I look like a fucking tour guide? You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. There's a quad, but Dickie's supposed to be in a trailer.
I'll see you're back. Tyler said Nick came here before. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future, don't you think? What about opioids? Did you say anything about that? There are no drugs here, Samuel. To stay, you must remain clean. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Look, I just want to talk to the guy who lives right over there. I don't give a shit what you want. Back the fuck hey, off. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'll be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. Need to account for that. These shavings would be perfect kindling. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with.
pre-Socratic philosophy. Dog-eared and well-read. Kayla and her family, I'm assuming. I wonder how long it's been since she saw him. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dicky. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. It's deep enough. Could squeeze in here. Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. It's probably time I leave you alone. Hey, you're probably right. Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. No use. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. If I hid Tyler's keys, It'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Hey, uh, Anna. Can I have a quick sidebar? I found it. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't gonna be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? I need to create a distraction to get to Dickie. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Lynette will go for her hose. She's right next to it. Definitely a problem. Thank you. 
That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dicky. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man. I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him for just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was gonna put so much together. He was gonna pin us to the wall. And now I'm as good as dead. You don't understand, man, I can't. Stop rambling. What did you take? His notes about his article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You have gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon, and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. Oh man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on, just let me go. Please, I already told you everything. No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me. I'm begging you, man. Let me go. Let me go. Help! Anyone, help me! Shut up! Hey, asswipe! Should've known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Sam, we have to get out of here. Shut up. Your ass ain't any better. You brought him here. You've had this coming. I can explain. Oh, you'll explain all right. So I'm gonna give you my rifle. We're leaving. God damn it, woman! 